Doamnelor și domnilor, suntem onorați să-i spunem bun venit la Garantat 100% domnului Alfie Kahn. Good evening and thank you for accepting our invitation. My pleasure. Um, in order to make things very clear from the very beginning, which is the difference between conditional and unconditional parenting? It begins from the premise that it's not enough to love one's child. Rather, what matters is how that love expresses mm -hmm. itself. There's a difference between loving a child for who he is or who she is on the one hand and for what he or she does on the other. When we love children for what they do, we say there are conditions, or as we say in English, there are strings attached, right. which means you have to earn the care or attention, the approval or acknowledgement that you get from a parent. And this turns out to be very destructive psychologically, even though it is precisely the kind of parenting recommended by many parenting advisors in order to control children. Right. But what children need is to be loved uh, for no damn good reason. We need to love them for who they are, even when they screw up or fall short, maybe especially then. Well, conditional parenting, in your view, is very similar to the free market mechanism. Um, what will a child become after such a type of education? Well, we don't have to speculate. We have a fair amount of research by now to indicate right. what happens. When children feel they have to earn their parents' love as if it is an economic mm -hmm. transaction, um, they learn to accept themselves only conditionally. I am only a good person when I do well in school or in mm -hmm. sports, when I hide my anger, when I'm nice to other people, when I'm attractive or funny or otherwise deemed more worthy. And psychologists tell us that unconditional self-esteem is practically uh, the same as, or at least an important component of psychological health. To be able to know that even when we make mistakes, we still have a core of faith in oneself. I'm still a, a competent and capable and lovable person. But when our parents put uh, conditions on our, val on our worth, when, when we have to uh, jump through hoops, as we say with, with animals, um, in order to get a prize, and here the prize is love, uh, we come never to accept ourselves as ultimately good because we're only one mistake away from thinking of ourselves as incompetent and unlovable. So the worst thing we can do to children is to use our love as a kind of trophy um, that we award to them when they please us or impress us. Instead, we need to give them the message, no matter what you do, even things I don't approve of, I will never, ever stop loving you. Someone could ask, isn't this pure anarchy? I don't see how the absence of a government maps onto the level of psychological <laughs> dynamics and interpersonal relationships. If you mean, are we not giving up control mm -hmm. of children, um, authoritarian control, the answer is happily yes. If you mean, does this mean that children will run wild without any sense of moral purpose or direction? The answer is absolutely not. In fact, mm -hmm. children tend to act out in a bad way, to misbehave, um, to do what is uh, disturbing, mostly in households where they have been over-controlled with punishments and rewards. When children are loved unconditionally, that doesn't mean we don't offer guidance. It doesn't mean we don't offer direction yeah. and help. It means we spend time working with children rather than doing things mm. to them to make them obey.